Hey, what's up, you guys? No. What's up, you guys? No. What is up, you guys? No. One eternity later. What's up, you guys? Sydney Morgan here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really glad to have you here today because it is officially spooky season. And today, I'll be testing out some Halloween makeup packs. I have the most bizarre assortment of things in front of me right now. And if you want to know what they are, then keep on watching. Can you even tell that I'm in a skeleton outfit? I don't even, you're not even gonna be able to see my skeleton outfit if I sit down. I also absolutely destroyed my collarbone and had to get surgery. So if you want a collarbone reveal, I'll do it at the end of the video. I have a bunch of metal in there and there is a huge scar. Nice. So starting off, we're gonna do an eyeliner hack and I've seen a lot of different variations of the same technique. So let's look at a couple. Okay, so we have a card of some sort with powder, it looks like, on it to draw very straight lines coming from the outer corner. And then we take an eyelash curler and use the curved section to make it look like a spider web. So let's try it. If you guys are wondering, I come up with a very detailed blueprint before each video. As you can see, that took me days to complete. So I know exactly what to do. So I'm just gonna apply some concealer on this piece of card. Y'all were probably hoping I was gonna pull out my credit card, huh? Yeah? No, we're using a random piece of cardboard. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna do, how many lines, like, like three, maybe? Wow, so we got those lines laid down, and I guess we're gonna go over it with some eyeliner. So here's how we're looking now. I'm gonna pull out my eyelash curler, and look how cute my little spooky mirror is. It matches my cat ears. Basically, we just hold it with the little swoopy end facing our eye, and we're gonna trace it with our eyeliner. This feels like so much. I don't even know if I can do this because I can't lift up my left arm because it's broken. It's like such an awkward angle. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, there's one. Wow. Oh, wow. What is that? What in tarnation? I was not expecting that. Wait. Or am I sub... <sighs> just applying the eyeliner onto the eyelash curler first. That should make more sense. I'm absolutely mind boggled right now. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. We're gonna give it one more go. Now I'm just gonna fix it with some eyeliner. Then she just took a little bit of eyeshadow and shaded that in. Now from far away, I don't think it looks as bad as it looks close up in my mirror. Did the hack work? Technically, yes. I think it would be very good for beginners, give you a nice clear stencil to go along. But for me that usually freehands most of my designs, I think it just was unnecessary and got in the way. So I'm gonna rate this hack a five out of 10. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. So I just did this side without the hack and I think it turned out a lot better than with the hack. Let me know down below which one you guys prefer. The next hack. We're gonna be creating a scar, but we are gonna be cooking up a little recipe. So let's see. So we're looking at, can you make homemade scar wax? They're adding flour and Vaseline. And they just mix it together and mold it into a little ball that looks like Play-Doh. Add some foundation, it looks like that is your skin color, and then use that to create scar wax. Seems easy enough, although I do not have the cleanest track record when it comes to flour. Exhibit A. I have my little palette here. I wish I could say this is the first time I've ever had flour sitting on my makeup table, but it's not. And a huge tub of petroleum jelly. So uh, I'm sure there's some sort of measurements that you're supposed to use, but I'm just going to wing it. I have my little spatula here, and I am just going to smear this on my palette here. And then I'm just gonna take a handful of flour, and I'm just gonna Sprinkle that on. Okay, there's gonna be a huge mess. Sounds good. And then I'm just going to attempt to combine these two items. 
I really don't like how this makes me feel. Also, my skeleton pajamas are getting flour all over them. I hope that comes out. I really don't like what's happening here. Two hours later. Okay, I finally have my little dough ball here. And if you don't know, scar wax is used to create cuts and other special effects makeup, and it lays on the skin and just acts as a second layer. But you do use Vaseline when you're working with scar wax to smooth it out and so it doesn't stick to your fingers or your tools. So this makes sense, but I've never tried this before. So my hands are very sticky and I'm kind of worried about this. I'm gonna use it the same way that I would use scar wax. So I just rolled it into a little tube and I'm just gonna attempt to make a little cut on my forehead. I'm gonna put down some eyelash glue on my forehead where I want to put our little concoction and maybe that will help it stick better. Put that back into our little tube shape, being very gentle. Okay, we've made the connection. She didn't die on us yet. Oh, I forgot to add foundation. Wow, I usually do that after when I'm using scar wax, so I don't think it's a huge deal. So just using that, I'm going to try to Smooth the edges. And I'm just putting some Vaseline on my tool because that is helping it blend better. Okay, I feel like that is sufficiently blended. Now I'm gonna take the side of my tool and draw a straight line through the center. Just karate chop that to create an open wound. I feel like we have a lot of extra product here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Now I think I'm gonna try to lay down some foundation or concealer that will match my skin tone better and then powder it. And now that we're halfway done with this hack, that takes us into our next hack. We need her to finish out the look. So this one is gonna be for DIY fake blood. And this will come in handy if you're being a vampire or another spooky look and you don't own fake blood because that's not something that everybody owns. Me, I'm an exception. So let's see what she's using. We have red lipstick. Clear lip gloss, and we mix those together, and there you go. That's all you need. So we have our handy dandy palette here, and I think I'm gonna be mixing these two lipsticks from NYX Cosmetics, and their clear gloss. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that onto our palette. Oh, wow. Put some of that onto the palette next to it as well. And a little bit of our bright red shade. Just going to go ahead and mix these products together. And I'm pretty happy with that color. So I'm just going to apply that to the center of our wound. I'm also just gonna go ahead and go in with some eyeshadow around the outside to add some bruising. And then taking a little sponge into our concoction I'm just going to dab that around our wound. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm super impressed with how these turned out. So let's break it down. It was a lot harder to work with the product than it is to work with scar wax, and it took me a lot longer to get it laying flat, but it did end up doing it. So I think it looks pretty good. So I would give our scar wax hack a seven out of 10. Our lipstick, lip gloss, fake blood hack I think was super cool. Honestly, I would literally do this instead of buying fake blood, you guys, especially for Halloween. Why would you go out of your way to get fake blood when you have red lipstick at home and can make something that looks almost exactly the same? I also like that you can make any shade of fake blood that you want. If you want a little darker, just add some black lipstick in there, or you can do a brighter red. And adding that gloss to it gave it an extra shine so that it does look blood-like, and I would give the lipstick blood hack a nine out of 10. <laughs> Moving on to our last hack. I am the most excited to try this one, and we're gonna be creating vampire fangs using fake press-on nails. So let's give it a look. So fake nails, file them down into fangs and stick them on with denture glue, and they look fabulous. So I got several different types of fake nails because I didn't know what would work the best. I think this is what we're gonna be going with from KISS. I just got these at my local drugstore, super easy to pick up, and also denture glue. And this is the denture glue I got, something I didn't think I would be able to say for a while. I also have all of my nail products here, and I'm just going to be filing these nails down to a point. Stay tuned. 
I think I'm pretty happy with their shape, so now we're gonna try to apply them with the denture glue. I have no idea how this stuff works, you guys. I'm just gonna apply it to the tooth, and then wipe that off a little bit, and hold that onto the tooth. Wait, why does that look so good? And it feels very secure also, because it's obviously a product that's meant to be in your mouth, holding teeth on there. I would rate our Press on nail, vampire teeth hack, a 10 out of 10. Super easy and they feel very stable. I'm very impressed. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys, that was all of our Halloween makeup hacks, tried and true by yours truly. And I gotta say, this is definitely the best combination of hacks that we've ever seen on this channel. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Let me know down below if you're gonna try any of these hacks for Halloween and I hope I helped you out a little bit. For those of you that wanted a collarbone reveal, are you ready? Trigger warning. Wow, look at that. It looks like I did it out of special effects makeup. If this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'll do a video creating this on this side. And until next time, Bye, guys.